51. Went back up top, took a big step up, went through the speed guns again, 58 kilometers per hour. So there's no time left. We're going to have to get up there and get ready for this jump. Just take a big step up and be confident with your jump. So I went back to the top of the hill, and that morning it was so cold that the hill was a sheet of ice. And they had to take a chainsaw and chisel slots into the hill so we'd have a place to keep our feet so we wouldn't slide down the hill. Just something else thrown out there because we don't have enough to think about the Olympic Games. So I took my feet in my two slots and I looked down to where my coach was standing next to the jump. A lot of people don't know this, but your coach can call to you in the air and tell you different things to already order to help you with your jump. So he can tell you that you need to stretch your body to slow down your rotation. He can tell you to reach your hand forward for the landing. He can tell you you're okay, you got it. Over the years, we heard the Japanese coach calling the same thing to his athletes time and time again. We started wondering, what is the translation for this word he's using all the time? Anyone want to guess what the word was? <laughs> I love it. A lot of people think it's confidence. You got it. You're on. The word, believe it or not, was danger. <laughs> now see, the Japanese aerialists aren't the best in the world. And a lot of it could be due to that coach. <laughs> because as they were in the air, he would call out danger when they were in trouble. I want you all to close your eyes for a second. Imagine you're 50 feet in the air, upside down, and you hear, danger, danger, danger! So I'm glad I live in the United States where my coach told me specifically what to do to get to my feet if I were in trouble. So I stood up at the top with my feet in my two slots and looked down to where my coach was standing next to the jump. And as you saw from the video, there was a long period of time where I had to stand there before my jump. And the reason I show you this is because that was the anticipation that had to build. Because I had to wait three minutes until there was a lull in the wind. And then I had to be ready to go on that second's notice. And I stood there and waited for that wind to calm down. And I tried to keep going over my jumps again and again in my head to just think about what I needed to do. And I had to block out the fact that the hill was a sheet of ice. I had to block out the fact that there were 40,000 people at the bottom of the hill. I had to block out the fact that the flags were sitting sideways. I had to block out the fact that I was too slow going into my first two speed checks. And I had to block out the fact that there was a camera six inches from my face that I swore could see my heart pounding out of my chest. And finally, my coach gave me the all clear sign, meaning the hill's ready, the judges are ready, there's a lull in the wind, go now. So I pushed off to go into this last jump. I got into a tuck so the wind would whip over my head, stood up right before the jump, threw my hands in the air, did a straight flip on the first flip, pulled my knees into a tuck for the second flip, stretched my body out again for the last flip, and did a full twist on that last flip and heard my coach yell, reach now, reach. <laughs>